Hello everyone, a very good morning to you. Welcome to today's edition of The Bottom Line. Here are the top headlines. Thailand discourages discounts to attract tourists to focus on high-value tourists. Goa starts monsoon trekking to boost tourism in hinterland areas. Saudi Arabia tourism to see fastest growth in the Middle East. Pilot strike leads SAS to file for bankruptcy protection. Abu Dhabi showcases highlights to UK travel trade partners. Radisson signs new upscale Vietnam resort. As per the latest reports, Thailand has already witnessed 2 million visitors in the first half of the year, which indicates steady growth of its tourism industry after it almost collapsed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, on Thailand's hotels, private hospitals and businesses have been asked to refrain from offering big discounts to attract tourists and focus instead on raising the country's value as a premium travel destination. Referring to this, Thailand Deputy Prime Minister Anutin Charnvilakul, while addressing an event at Bangkok's main international airport to promote tourism stated, we cannot let people come to Thailand and say because it's cheap. He further added, instead they should say that because it works, it's reasonable. That's where we can increase value. The Goa Tourism Development Corporation recently launched the monsoon trekking program to boost tourism in hinterland areas. While addressing the launch event at Tamdi Surla, GTDC Chairman MLA Dr. Ganesh Gaunkar added that this move will help boost the economy of the region and will further help to generate employment for locals. As per the reports, more than 8 million tourists visit Goa every year and most of them prefer to visit the beaches to enjoy the sun, sand and the sea during their vacation. However, now the Goa government is also focusing on hinterland tourism. WTTC has revealed that travel and tourism sector in Saudi Arabia is expected to grow at an average of 11% annually over the next decade, making it the fastest growing travel and tourism industry in the Middle East. According to the four Forecast from WTTC latest economic impact report. This annual growth, more than six times the 1.8% growth rate of country's overall economy, will bolster the economic recovery of the kingdom. By 2032, the travel and tourism sector's contribution to GDP could reach nearly SAR 635 billion, representing 17.1% of the total economy. That's all we have for you in today's edition of The Bottom Line. Thanks for joining us. For more such travel industry updates, stay tuned till tomorrow. Have a great day ahead.